We lit. Hey, we lit it again. We back. We lit it right again. Here. This is the Trap, Trap Talk, man. Yes, sir. T R A P. Trap Talk. Real aspects professionally. Yes, sir. Yes, we was just here a week ago, fellas. Yeah, well, yeah. And uh, a good week. Yeah. I mean, you know, notwithstanding this other bullshit, but it was a good week. Yeah, I must agree. You know, I'm thankful again, man, to be amongst my brethren. You know, yeah. And amongst the good people out there, man, in YouTube world and all the other streams. Welcome. If you are listening right now, do us a favor. One thing. Push the button, subscribe, right like, go leave a comment to some of the content that we going to spill over the airways tonight. Damn, that nigga, that nigga like Kyrie through that bitch. You hear Yo, man, it's serious. serious. Yo, you smooth, pal. It's all good. Man, it's serious, man. You're growing. Facts. Yeah. Growing. Uh, Shit still going on out here in this world, man. Right on. Clearly, clearly, clearly. To the point now where folks is using the term global pandemic. We're gonna might as well just go on and talk about the shit that's going on because kind of like when we left off last week, it was a little unsure to, of what the shit gonna be seven days from then right. to where we are now. And hey, man, we here and god damn it, I knew it. Lockdown. I knew you was no bullshit. You was calling it. That's why you know maybe you was ahead of the ball on a lot of different things. Cause you you know you had your good feeling and I don't mind listening. You know, yeah. what I mean? as far as my personal experience with the pandemic that's going on, like I said, I had already been to do some things before because we had when I you know had traveled and stuff. So I had already had some things in, in uh in rotation or already prepped or whatever, but shit, I came back and hit him again and again and again once you, you know, came to your little spiel on it. What right. you thought? Did you, how you see it, Warren? What, you saw it was, this? It's, it was real, man. It's yeah. been real to me ever since I learned about it. Yeah. You know, I, like we talked about last week, no matter what your theory is, and I don't think any of them are conspiracy theories. Yeah. I think all people got many theories, but I'm focused on solutions. You know what I'm saying? And prevention and intervention if need be. Because I just think folks are still not taking it serious. I don't give a... Listen. Yes, two years ago, there was a virus. Two years before... Two years... Two... What? One... Two years before. Two, what, it's yeah, going to be yeah. something, right? Yeah. It but was, it's all getting worse. Yeah. I mean, the information that we're getting, you know it's worse than that. And it's not good information now. No, because the information is from the top. And if you're not at the top, then you're not really getting the shit until feel shit. And her shit rolled down here. Right. Prime example is when the shit first started, uh, when, it, when it, it was in China, and when the U.S. began to find out what was going on, you got the government officials, you got senators, you got people in position of power that knew this shit. And what did they do? They used it for economic gain. They went and dumped their stocks because they knew the economy was about to crash. That happened, man. They knew it was about to crash. So they knew this shit 30 days, three weeks in advance. And then one of them, same ones, got caught Look, I can't remember his name, man. We need to look up his name. But one of them, the one of the ones that dumped the stocks, mm -hmm. got caught telling a group of private, mm -hmm. so-called conservative investors, supporters, investors, investors, investors whatever, or whatever group, whatever, whatever group it was, you know, telling them the real. Yeah. But the whole time, from the White House, you're getting, oh, we got it contained, it's under control, we know what we're doing. But this dude done fired the whole pandemic office so there wasn't people on watch ready on point to say hey look this is what we need to do they they, they sat on the information too long so okay we learn again that uh -huh. this dude in the white house is an imbecile 
Right? right. There, there's you can come up with so many negative and derogatory terms that fit this cat that you can't even you anybody whether you vote or you don't vote you know this dude is something else. It's like but, it, entertainment. Not to cut you off, just piggybacking on what you saying and what boy saying. Shit, the shit rolls downhill. So if you ain't at the top. That's like with any story. Remember the stories when you at school and you tell it. You tell it this way, you go to the next person, you yeah. go to the next, by the time it gets to you. Like phone, I think it was like the phone. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Shit, that shit is whack, it's all whack. chopped up. So that's what we getting right now. There's bits and pieces of actually, what the fuck going on? But, like, go ahead. Bro. But Let's should we, er, but what you saying, right? I agree with that. Yeah. But I think we should still play the side of caution. Of course, of course. Which because, means, right? yeah, because it's, okay, it's real. We know there's a lot of lies going on, but are they lying to make themselves look good or lying to make us feel good? And I think it's both. Dig this. People are saying, man, this virus, you know what I'm saying, it's it's really small and it's something that people, pro everybody probably gonna get. And it's something that's a patent, it's something they made, this, that, and the third. But today, in today's news, the first yeah. rapper came out and said he contracted the coronavirus. You heard about that? Uh -huh. yeah. Slim Thug. What? Yeah. I seen it Come all on, man. the blogs today myself. So, man. I want to say this first. And hey, let me just say this. I hope whatever the brother is going through or however it happened, I wish for a healthy, speedy recovery yeah. from whatever diagnosis that he gets. For sure. Snap. Slim I got that out the way. Yeah. Uh, man, did y'all hear about <laughs> the crazy shit? Y'all want to hear something else that's crazier than Thugger? What's going to blow your mind? The nigga who just went to jail on the rape charge. Weinstein he said got, he got what? Come on. You ain't heard that one either? I don't believe it. Hey, man. No, that's, that's that, the way that's he it. Did. Did the, the way I was reading into I was reading and I, I can't, you know, I'm not going to. If he got it, they gave it to him so he could try to get out of it. That was like he had it this. prior to coming in. He brought it in with him. They'll just put him in isolation where he need to be. But then he did so, man. The coronavirus. Yes, sir. Right? Oh. Uh, they. I'm, I'm going back to Thug, Slim Thug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Texas icon. Yeah. Um, how do people get a uh, test? Because if you listen to the news, and I, and he he does have a, the celebrity factor. Yeah. So right. if he wanted to get the test, right, he could you know be one of the first ones to get it because of that factor. Now. Well, I, I, can tell you, this. I can tell you the answer to that. But go ahead and ask the next one. Now, I want to ask this right here. What's that? Two questions. Two, a question and a statement. Why would anybody go take a coronavirus test? And the reason I say that is, does anybody not know what happened back when they told niggas to go take the AIDS test? Did it? Do y'all know what happened? Mm, I know. I'm not going Man, they told know. people to go out and take this AIDS test. Slews of people went out and took the AIDS test. And you know what result they got? A positive. Yeah. And then what happened to them? They got on the AZT medicine. Fast forward, fast forward. I don't know if it was a decade, five years, however long it was, the science came out. These AIDS tests are flawed. They are flawed. So now you put a test out for a disease or virus or whatever, people go get tested, they come back positive, now you begin to treat them with new medicines that have not been introduced to the people before. These medicines, like the AZT, is the main thing that broke down these people's immune system and began their stages of death or whatever. I'm saying it the same. I don't trust these motherfuckers, man, to tell me shit. So, 
I'm not gonna be the nigga that's gonna run out and take no goddamn coronavirus test so they can tell me I'm positive and then try to give me a vaccine. Yeah, but bar, that's not how they do it, man. You don't you can just go get it. But like for instance, last night we got a message that uh our uncle in Kilmore may have it because he had symptoms. And they was like, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. And he went and they did the little drive through where they, I don't know what they do. I imagine they take your temperature and they do all these other things and ask you some questions. And they, they said, you gotta get out the car and go in here and um, holler at these folks to see what's going on. So to really, how you get the test, you can't just get the test because you want it. Because there ain't enough. If they had the amount of tests that they're supposed to have, which is millions on debt, that'd be great. But they lied and said they would, but they only got a couple hundred thousand of them. So they only have a few tests. Like in Dallas, you heard about like 10 yesterday, 14 today. Well, shit, they, keep, they still holding on to only one in Gregg County. You can't tell me that. Well, they say they got 23 pending and 23 came back negative. Well, why are these 23 pending? Are they 23 possibly negative? Because why do you have 23 negative and not 23 undetermined yet? Hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's going down, but I know people are getting it so, and they ain't following none of the shit they said, like fooling around with people that have been out of town and shit. You ain't got yeah. no contact. I don't give a damn if they had 50 million tests yeah. and they give them away on every red light. I'm not taking that motherfucker. So I was listening to huh. uh, uh, Breakfast Club. Charlamagne was doing his little call-in interview with a doctor or whatever. So the doctor was saying that that uh, it was some, you know, some data research done, but it's not strong enough to use in the U.S because they don't do it based off another country's uh, research or what blase blase have you, that um, <clears throat> it was an old medicine that is that was around that used to cure uh, stuff like, what was the dose? Malaria? It's something like that and something else that went away. What's that? What's the start with an S-A-R or something? So, oh, SARS. The, the SARS. The disease that, right, that right. went away. Right. So that was, she, I mean, excuse me, he was like, uh, don't quote me on it. He was like, yeah, um, the old medicine that, that has been introduced and some of the older people probably already have this medicine in there, uh, such and such, because it's mixed with this medicine. He's yeah. like, if they can already start attacking it and and, and treat it before it even hits them. And this is a medicine that's been around since 67 years ago. So I'm like, man, how the fuck could it be? Possibly that they already knew the cure or the cause and effect prior to this. The disease definitely, or the virus definitely got a patent that you could look up if you got those, if you got the number of patent as in when they created the shit. See, and either they create it or they find it. And, but but it's a patent on it, so if it's a patent, you somebody can find made it. it. No, that's not true. If you discover something, you can patent it. Discovery, okay? Yeah. But they also have a patent for the quote unquote cure or the vaccine. And I think that was that was clearly last November. I, I don't I don't I don't I haven't heard that and I don't think that that's quite accurate if, if I listen to some of the sources that I get. But I do know that most of the time when you have a virus, there's a vaccine. But not all viruses have they figured out a vaccine. Now the latest news I heard was this particular animal called the pangolin, an ugly looking like a uh, uh, armadillo type animal from Asia has 90% of the DNA in a virus that they carry as the COVID-19, mm -hmm. right? And that they still try to put it on this wet market in Wuhan, China, but that one of these animals was sold there and their, their 
their hypothesis is that in the preparing of the animal that somebody contracted it then. But they still don't know. It's not like some bullshit to we me. Got, listen, I said I'm not going to say any of these. Now you can, but like I said, I don't know if we was on the air or not, but I think I said I'm looking at all this stuff as theory and none of it as conspiracy theory because there's somebody who has the exact opposite thought of you and we don't know which one of us is right. Nope, we don't. We don't. So I'm telling you, me, if you fooling around with me, no, nah, hey, listen, social distancing, what 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 lift those? Hey, listen, hey listen. I'm gonna do it. Social look, man. Social distancing. Yeah, I'm gonna like keep your distance six feet. Man, we are goddamn twelve to sixteen inches apart at at the most right now. Right. I don't know and we don't know because how I, I mean, I done been we sick don't. this year, man. I mean, I done been sick. I done, I done been sick this year where I had a uh, sore throat or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know, I took the, you know, I took my girl, got me some meds. I think I even had to take some antibiotic or some shit to try to knock that shit off. Uh -huh. But I didn't go to the doctor. Right. I didn't go get no type of vaccine. This Corona shit, this ain't nothing that was just created when we heard about it. Like this shit has been around. Right. So I, I don't, me personally. I don't give a damn who they say got this shit because they saying that shit from this. Even people, it's, it's people in this town right here that have had to go be quarantined, quote unquote. So I understand that yes, people can get it, but I also understand from how they are portraying it that any virus, you can get the pneumonia and if your immune system can't shake that shit, then you gonna succumb to it. So right. this is no different than any and other in any other uh serious illness, or I ain't gonna say illness, but serious uh flu or serious, you know, just sickness that can take you out. But the people that is really affecting is the older people who have prior issues with their health. This is who this shit is really killing. People will say, we got celebrities say they getting the shit and they shaking back. Or they just being quarantined. They're not well, giving they, these people no got, special They meds. got money. No, they got money to get, you know, the best treatment. One lady, I saw this one lady the other day, she said it was $31,000 they billed her. It's a regular everyday For lady. what? Man, listen, they got those ventilators and shit they put people on. They got the... Uh, these, medicine they give them, these folks just being been, in a hospital every man, day. These folks that's done been quarantined around here ain't paid no. It ain't no quarantine. This man. is the folks that have the severe symptoms that end up in the hospital. I'm not talking about the ones that's quarantined at home. We talking about the ones that got it and it's in the worst stages of it. But and they in the hospital. It it didn't just go from oh man I got coronavirus. No, you already had a. And B and maybe C. You already had probably congestive heart. You already had this. You yeah. probably and right. So this, yeah. that, this thing right here was the tipping point to all of your illnesses, and your, your immune system just couldn't shake the shit out. Of course, but who the fuck wants to deal with that? I'm not willing to deal with it. I don't want to. Do, I, I got insurance. Let me ask this question. But I don't want to fork out twelve grand to do something that I could have like avoided. Let me ask you this question. Just twist. by using some precaution. Let me ask you how much precautions you got on this. In the closet right there, it's a bag. $18 million off inside the bag. The bag got Corona on that motherfucker. You going to get the bag tonight? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to go get the bag. I'm going to suit up, but I'm going to get the bag. It's, you, you, okay, okay. So we trap talk here, right? Yeah. So let me I'm throw it like man. this. Let me throw it like this. Robbing a bank is easy to do. Yeah. It's the getaway is what you got to plan for. 
Okay, so if we trap talking, I, you can plan out a bank robbery all you want. The whole plan revolves around how do you get away? Because you know the laws is going to be called. Yeah. Something going to be triggered. Yeah. And they're coming for you because you got the church's money. Yeah. Right? And I know cats that the rob banks they successfully. Do. Yeah, and unsuccessful. And unsuccessful. Yeah, in my family yeah. on everything I love. Yeah, and the point of it yeah. is, is the ones that were successful just said, you know what? Follow the plan. The ones that was unsuccessful either didn't have a plan or diverted from it. Let me ask you this. And so all I'm saying is, saying that the same why way. not just be cautious? Because me, I got diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. It's not just the old people, it's people, like you said, mm -hmm. with suppressed immune mm -hmm. systems. Yeah. I sat right here in this, in this studio a couple of months ago, back in January, and I was doing a show with y'all, mm -hmm. and I was over here and I just could not keep myself together. I was out of it. When I went and took my blood test the next day, mm -hmm. I figured out, shit, I was about to be in the ICU. Damn. So, for fooling around with my health, not paying attention to the things I should have been, had me over here in a daze, and then I had to drive back. Y'all remember that night you said, shoot, you might want to just sleep here. Yeah. Remember, I thought I was sleepy because I might have been, you know, nah. but it wasn't that. Yeah. It was really a hell of all off, man, high. Like, that week, a youngster, 25 years old, was in the ICU for like a week for shit less than what I was. Yeah. So I'm just saying, you're right. Everybody don't get impacted the same way, but everybody gets affected in some way. Hold on. We hope not to get infected, but here's the thing. If I know it's a health thing, you can't sit up here and say, you're not going to do nothing, man. you got to look out for yourself. And you don't want your child or your mother, who's who may be over 65, mm -hmm. to real. get You see what I'm saying? That's I'm real. not looking out I for me. That every day, that's real. Right. That's me too. So that's what I'm saying. It ain't just us. I'm thinking about my kids mm -hmm. and the elders. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to open come back to you because I want to add Sid something. What's that? What's that? 50 million out there inside the closet. Yeah. Ain't no protective girl. Okay. The corona, yeah, 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 at that point. Ain't no protective girl. Oh, okay. You going to get the 50 million or you just going to be like, nah. I'm going to get the 50. That's <laughs> all I want to know. Well, this is, at that moment right there, like, yeah. Shit, I'm it's up. Busy. I'm getting I mean, 50. 50. I, if I, I, I can't I, get to it, I'm <laughs> saying just as of right now, I can't get to the girl. The 50 in there, we know that. And it's Corona in there, we know that. But you don't really know what the what fuck Corona is. is. Hey, 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 hey. What is my number? Y'all gonna trip out on this. These cats better know it, too. What's my number? 57 million. Right. <laughs> right. Let me tell you something. Know Everybody what? knows that my know. target is 57 million. Now, that's man. all I need. No, no. That's 50. And that's just why I want to leave it at. And listen, you're going to have a beautiful play laid out before you. Yeah. But if it's not chose, and I'm not talking about the chips and the cheese, yeah. but if it ain't chose to get, yeah. You, okay, I had asked this question, right, of some yeah. people I thought would really answer this right. Yeah. Only one person did. I said, okay, hanging over a cliff, you got the choice to either choose me or 20 million cash. Everybody but one said, I'm going to grab 20 million and I'm going to put you in a nice, put you away real nice. <laughs> <laughs> And put your way real nice. You gonna be, you gonna go out of the rose gold, nigga. <laughs> but this is this is why I shot. One person said I choose you, but this is what I was trying to get at is together we gonna have at least fifty seven million, but you gonna sell for only twenty. 
which you probably going to blow five. Taxes is going to hit you for another five. And then you got 10 and you're going to be in stuff from that first five that's hard to get out of without money. And you be down to three or hey, four. Listen, man, where I'm on the cliff, man. Come on, brother, let's play. Let's pray. God, <laughs> may, he, may you be pleased. Bye, nigga. <laughs> May you be pleased with my brother's work. <laughs> Tell him you. I got your kids. Hey, there you go. I got hey, your kids. I'll take care of you, fam. Yeah, I got your kids. I got May you. Allah be pleased with you, bro. I don't want your wife, nigga. I'm going to buy three of them. <laughs> take care of the kids. They ain't going to never work a day in their life. No, I'm hey. just bullshit, man. Hey, I get it. It's, but that's, that's the same thing, y'all. It's like, you know, you got six in one hand. And half a dozen in the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But neither one of these is your target. This is just an obstacle. And I'm telling you, they keep throwing tests at us. And since we as black people, I feel, are dynamic test takers, but it doesn't <laughs> make us invincible. Yeah. This is just my thoughts, right? And it's okay that we got different thoughts. I think that we are great test takers. But we forget that we're not invincible. Yeah, we're superhuman, but we're not invincible. Mm -hmm. And every thing has an equal and an opposite, right? Everything has that, because we're all just energy. I just don't want to put, it's something with this that's just bad energy. Thanks. And and it's going to pass. I agree with them, it's going to pass. We know it is. I was, just about about to, crook. I was just about to say switching gears, not to, we still ain't on topic, but yeah, we what, are. how far you go, no, I'm saying we are, too, you know what I mean, I definitely didn't want to try to go nowhere else, because this shit, definitely, we can go on, but where y'all see it going from here, from the point that we at right now, in your town, you know, because you stay in a different town than we, you know, come yeah, yeah. here. You stay in different county, blah, blah, right, blah, blah. Right. So what's the next step? If you could call out the step. Okay, let me say this to you on that note. I look at Texas where we at. Yeah. It's a whole state. Right. I look at California. I look at New York. Because these are the places where the shit is moving the fastest at. The decisions are being made. California, they shit been on lockdown. New York made the decision they shit on lockdown to the point where if it's not essential shit, they don't even come out the house. So down here in Texas where we at, you got Dallas. Dallas was the first place to say, okay, in y'all, Texas. Yeah. in Texas, okay, y'all, we're going to do this lockdown shit. Uh, Dallas County, then Fort Worth. So in Houston, Houston said we ain't doing no lockdown shit. We not doing it. We not doing it. We not. We not doing it. We not doing it. We not doing it. Today, they say Houston going on lockdown at midnight tonight. Also today, the first rapper and one of the biggest. Rappers in Houston said he got the coronavirus. Therefore, y'all niggas stop playing, man. This shit is serious. Son and son got this shit, man. Y'all stop playing. Y'all need to social distance. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to do this. And in Dallas, hold on. Let me say this right here. I don't like it. I'm, with, I'm, 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 I'm just. Let me I'm say this right here, though. It's, it's, it's another stage of the game, right? In Fort Worth, I'm hearing if you out in your car driving. These folks pulling you over, asking you where you going, yeah. where is you coming from. So now, now your your rights as a traveler are being infringed on because who are they to say? Who? How can they just start to pull over folks and say, you, uh, "What is, are you an essential person out here in these streets?" And if not, you gonna just catch these thousand dollar fine. And I read on that too. What are they doing? Because I've been definitely been having a lot of time, so I read on that. It's one of the amendments. I'm gonna look it up for y'all. It's one of the amendments that they're saying they want to do away during this pandemic with. So if they do catch you, they can go ahead and take you to jail. You can be de detained until further notice. Until basically you don't have no release date. <clears throat> they very well could do all of that stuff. Um, I don't know what the next step 
it is going to be because we're not working with a stable government. It ain't been for a long time. Yes, but we've had some that were better than others. And this is the weakest the country has ever had. I can think of Taft. I can think of uh, <coughs> I ain't got it. Grover Cleveland. I just had something I thought I just caught. Uh, I, I can think of uh, uh, Nixon. I can think of uh, whoever that was right before Andrew Jackson. I don't know if it was uh, something with an H. But I can think of all these that have been horrible presidents, right? Hmm. Right. We've had a whole litany of horrible, some are way worse. But this dude's got to be the worst. And so with that, that's why I think it's dangerous. Speaking for the that's, city, that's the, that, that, the the 90% of what I'm talking about is mm -hmm. because of this asshole. Yeah, I know. See, I know you. you that's all me. I'm saying. Yeah. But Longview. What do you, how do you see the effects in Longview or what do you Man, think? Man, listen. I ain't folks, saying just call it out. Or folks, just be yeah, like, I'm not even going to call it out because yeah. I want to so bad. Yeah. But it ain't going to help. Yeah. I told folks before it hit the news, what, five days before it hit the news, that it was there. The virus. And this yeah. is where it's at. This is where it's going to pop up at. Yeah. I say this, man. It, it, the, the, I, go ahead. And, and just go back to what you saying. You saying, hit us alone, be all in. This is all one. And everything, but they, but let me tell you why you right, but you wrong. They talking about this one case, all they got in Greene County, right? And we know they got 23 pending and 23 negative, but they emphasize this is only people who live in Greene County. But I started thinking, you got Wood, you got Upshur. Harrison, Upshur, Russ, Smith. Smith. Okay, I said Wood. I'm missing one. Cherokee. Uh, Cher Cher Cherokee is down there. That's close, but I'm thinking of like Panola. Panola. Yeah. And uh, Marion, mm. Jefferson, you know, Marion, mm. and Cass. All them folks centralized here, especially Harrison and Russ. Yeah. Because it's right and right around the corner, right? Mm -hmm. But they emphasize it county by county. I don't see it. I man. think that's some bullshit. Of course you know, it I is. It's bullshit. Of course. Because, again, this is North America. This is the. United States of America. This right. is the 50 states. So, in order for them to be able to get control of the quote-unquote virus, they, they can't they can't be doing this in California and not doing it in Kentucky. They can't do it in New York and not doing it in Florida in order to get the shit under control. So, for us to be down here in East Texas to think that we not all of us going to be up under the same arm I think it's a fallacy. I think it, it, it needs to be up in the same arm of work. Like we the same arm of government. Down. In fact, the same <laughs> arm that we not. not. That's you're right. Not, not yet. They, not yet. But the other, the, the federal arm is so unprepared that it'll be so long before that will happen. They ready for that? They not ready. That's why they cancel all your shit. That's why they said ain't no more sporting shit because they, they not ready to do. They in it. They look no. They not ready because that's why it's taking so long for them to do this. To y'all shut down. Y'all shut down. Y'all shut down because they, they gotta, gotta get people in position. Yeah, they gotta get people in position to in, be able to give you this news that hey, yo, this shit is kind of bad. Y'all gonna have to stay in the house for eight to, to twelve weeks because that's what they saying. Yeah, and, and, it, and it might get to that. And it, it probably will, they say. They keep trying to hold on to like another two weeks or another week and a half. They got to get the National Guard and everywhere to hold yeah, the yeah. town. They, they, and they've been mobilized, National Guard, but they still, it's not enough. You got to have the Marines. You got to have an Army and Navy. And this dude is just not, they're not listening. Hey, they have a doctor that was telling folks the facts based on science. Like, it's bad, but most of the people are gonna live. But this is what you gotta do to take off. But you got this dude that's claiming to be the president that's saying something contradictory to 
evidence, mm -hmm. right? We don't fat base dude, evidence. Ain't from with hey, the dude. hey, dude ain't even been up Show there up. on the thing no more. Come on, man. They ain't let him come up there no more. He ain't with. He like, man, I ain't finna. Uh, they ain't with that bullshit. Nah, we but look, look, I, but look, this is what we got to understand, man. We, 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 we talk about the government. We talk about the bigger picture. It's shit that they call the shadow government that controls those people that are put in those positions. They not really pushing no buttons. They have bosses. But also, too, though, how we talking about, we waiting for the... Um, the National Guard, the Marines, all these people to get in their position. But the United States are contracted. They got people from other countries that are going to come in and serve as in law enforcement that, 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 that don't speak our language. That I don't, don't think the president would do that. He ain't got control like that. Yeah, he wouldn't let that happen. He ain't got control like that. The same Man, way Obama didn't lose, have control. He would lose. Uh, he just a figure, though. A figurehead. Yeah, he a figurehead, but he don't he don't tote the line though. That's clear. He he don't tote the line, and that's why they gonna take his ass out. His own people. They yeah. they just them kind of people. They think like that. But they, just because they that evil, don't make them smart. Anytime people try to tell you how smart they are, and they have to show you, they phone. These dudes, is, these folks are fakes and frauds and part-time frauds. We know this. Oh, man. We know this. But the facts are hidden in all this, what I call, minutia. So when the facts are hidden, you got to go like gold mining and diamond mining. And some of it is right on the surface, but it's really not that, unless you pay it real close attention, you can't see it. But then you gotta dig it, you gotta dig to get the big chunks of it. And and, and you gotta do a lot of research. And for some reason yeah. here lately, I've been back on my research. Yeah. I'm taking in, you know, seven, eight, nine sources before I even speak on it. I know that nasty ass people have gotten away with giving us shit for way too long. Okay, we know this. Now that is undisputable. Now, we finally learning to distance ourselves and, and, and it's hard to do it without putting a scarlet letter on somebody's forehead. But but you just gotta, you gotta weed buddy. out. You gotta weed out. Because I can't be away from people. No, Me? I understand that, I understand that. But I'm gonna have to risk it on some that I hope would be conscious enough to think about the other people around them. And that's the point, man. Nobody gives a fuck about nobody around them. That's the problem. I say this. And they try to make it worse with this distancing. But shit, this only gonna make me better. But go ahead, bro. Uh, in order to be able to find a solution, uh-huh. You got to first get to the root of the problem. You know, if you got to, if you need staples, Neo Sport ain't going to help. So, right, right. So, when we look and analyze at the shit that they put on our TV screens and what they bombard us with, first of all, it's to produce fear. Because right. once you get in a state of fear, you ain't no good, you ain't no help. And now it's fight or fight. And a lot of us ain't been trained to fight because we ain't we lost our warrior mentality. So we're going to fight and just run to our nearest motherfucking place of shelter. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. with that being said, what are we running from? And who are the people that put the fear in us? Man, this is the part that... I'm going to say it, I've not been saying it because I really don't give a fuck. And if you are one of these people that you are offended by what I'm saying, then you're probably the problem. But if you can't identify me like, yo, that's a problem, then fuck it. But I'm going to say this. Who are the people that gave niggas syphilis for an experiment? Who are the people that have, since they have been here, their whole thing has been nothing but war, kill, murder, 
overtake, enslave, money gain, invented, gave these niggas over here the uh the, the, the blankets with the smallpox in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who killed all the bison? Who cut the trees down? Who is totally against nature and who is the people or who are the people that since they've been on the planet has gotten everything by being in line with nature. You got the European and you got original people and then you got the people that are in between. So now they saying, uh, we need to stand up for the Chinese people because Trump said it's a Chinese virus. These Chinese people getting stereotyped now. Ain't nobody eating Chinese. But man, fuck them. Mm -hmm. When when niggas getting shot down in the streets, when black women going to get their nails did, and these Chinese folks whipping their goddamn head to the white meat, they not sitting up here saying nothing. Or uh, when they women going to buy her out the British lawn, and they, they dragging their goddamn yeah, ass yeah, out. Yeah. Them Chinese folks ain't standing up and saying, man, we need to get behind these black folks because they been getting mistreated forever. Ain't nobody standing up for us. But we always want to try to figure out a way to put a cape on and go save somebody else. Hmm. And the law of, the first law of nature is self-preservation. Until we realize we got to be able to stand and save ourselves and fight for our cause first. Hmm. We not going to go nowhere. And until we Really, that, 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 this is why they went through such, uh, did so much to destroy us out of slavery during Tulsa when we had finally said, man, y'all got y'all shit over there? It's cool. We got our shit over here. We got the doctors. We got the store. We got everything we need. We are self-sufficient. Back when, uh, you got Malcolm on the integrate. It was so many other black people that said, no, man, we cool on that. Right. We don't want his ice is the same temperature as our ice. Yeah. Social conditioning has put us in a position to think that we can't do nothing for ourselves, man. And these same people that got us thinking this is the same people that got the world, the planet in the position it is now. They got this virus. You got the Bill Gates. You got the people who, who are billionaires. You know what I'm saying? You can look this up, man. Bill Gates been talking about a pandemic for five, six, seven, eight years. He been telling you about He been telling you about global population for the longest. He got ties to uh Bill Clinton, Margaret Sanger, the people that put Planned Parenthood on the table. These people's whole agenda is to try to stop these niggas, man, from coming up. I, I, I think that every, every time one of these things comes around, it takes away the weaker vessels. Come on. And just by what we were talking about, by who's most susceptible mm -hmm. to getting it and succumbing from it, <clears throat> the bigger picture is, okay, who is it targeting? Mm -hmm. And if it was meant to target the weaker vessels, still if, and this is why I was telling you why sometimes people ain't that smart. They got all this head knowledge, but they're not smart. Um, it, it's like they dig a ditch, but they dig two. Because mm -hmm. the one they got from me, they fouled in that motherfucker. Right. And so that could be it. But again, it's a great theory. What do we do now? Right? It's, we can come up with a thousand theories. I told you about the animal. They talked about the meat market in Wuhan. 
they talked about the uh, military who was there not too long before this kicked down had it and left it there. I'm not above thinking that these folks that lead our government made that and planted it somewhere they, to put it on there. Okay. What better place to plant it than China to weaken their uh, stance on the world? Because otherwise, without something hitting China hard economically, they're the king of the earth when it comes to economics. They got the people, they got the, the technology, and, and they got control. So how do you, I, I said this before, how do you tear down a house? You bind the strong man. And if you want to tear down the globe, yeah. you got to start at the powerhouse. Yeah. Could this be a world, I think it's World War III, this virus, but I think it's going to lead into another thing. It, and, and, and it might be worse than this. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm not going to get too hung up in this, but I'm going to be cautious of my particular place on the planet at this point. But if I expect to make it to where my vector is going to take me, I've got to be in position. I've got to eat right. This is a great opportunity for people to eat right. That's facts, man. Build up your immune That's system. Facts, yeah. I'm not saying you go out and get, I, didn't, I never said you need to take no medicine. I'm just saying that you got to build up your immune system. Yeah, you got to be strong. And 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 you got to Smaller. eat right. Yeah. You got to, you know, kind of do right. Yeah. Exercise. You know, you got to take care of your temple. You got to think right. I was listening to something today. And, um, oh, first I'm going to say this. I looked at a map today, a uh -huh. global map. The two places where this virus was doing the least damage was Africa right on. and South America. Yeah. Well, it really started with Mexico on down. Yeah. But again, these are darker skinned people. Where is it doing the most damage? Italy, Europe. And then we start talking about China, where it hit at first. Yeah. Now China's saying, well, shit, we ain't got no more, more cases. They put their city on lockdown. I mean, the China. country on excuse me, country on lockdown for two months or something they, like that. Yeah, but they got a way. That's that's the Chinese government. They can make anything sound good or sound bad. Yeah. That's, that's, why that's why that doctor. That's why that doctor got killed. Oh no, they all good at, but they much better at it than we are. So what? They, <laughs> so they say, look, they did all this shit. The virus ain't. They ain't got no no more case. No 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 more new, new cases. cases. Yeah. And the virus ain't spread no more, but they ain't had no, uh, they ain't got no cure. So where is the shit? They don't know what's going on in them villages. Shit, you know, most of China ain't no city. But it's look, rural. you don't know what's going on. But they are, even, let's just say they tell the truth. Mm -hmm. okay. Then they, how much farther are they? Than we are, uh, the thing I would say, we were they than the United States as far as dealing with this issue. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's ahead because we used to always be at the front line and we clearly aren't. So I know we ain't at the head of it. I know that much. Maybe, uh, who is that that was doing really good? Uh, North Korea. Who been coming over here buying up all this goddamn shit? Property, land, highway. Oh, it's Chinese. Oh, I, I, I said that okay. on the gate. Uh, they, they don't like that. <clears throat> they don't like that here. And they don't like the fact, I think that's one of the things that they hate about Barack Obama when he went and borrowed that money. They was like, you went and borrowed money from communists? Shoot, he was like, they got the bag. We're going to pay it back. Shoot, you only need three trillion, you borrow five, you know, you you hit it up, you hustle with that two, and you, you know, shake back that five and a half, because it's interest, yeah. right quick, and, and less than the time to pay it off. I'm just talking about gain, right? And so, they didn't like that. This is, man, if you don't know this, man, these folks are still trying to blame this stuff on the black man. <laughs> You can call you can call him whatever you want. I know he wasn't as helpful to black folks as we would have thought he would be. But you gotta remember, you said it before, these guys are figureheads. They don't really run stuff. It's a group but you know, deeper that runs it. We know that. 
But the point of it is, is he's still a black man. They try to blame every problem. They, this dude said at one of these rallies that Obama and his work during 9-11 was a travesty and how he treated 9-11. I said, this dumb bitch really think that this dude was the president. He wasn't even in the Senate. Crazy, man. That's 1991. It's 2020. So what I'm saying is, is we're not dealing with a whole bunch of smart people, man. But I think we got to make smart decisions when it comes to dealing with people who don't care about us. Shoot, you think I'm surprised that they put something that's going to impact poor people? Damn, it's going to impact man. black people? It's going to impact people with health conditions? You think I'm surprised? If they did that, because they got a track record, like you said. But since I know they've been doing that, how come my game ain't been up? How come I don't have a garden? Huh? How come I you ain't growing my own? You know huh? why? Because in order for your survival, in order for your family to have the necessities, we spend the majority of our time on his clock. Yeah. We are depending upon him and his corporation and his dream in order for us just to get by. Man. So that's why people are are so uh, uh take a back seat to being confrontational to the truth. Because at the end of the day, you might be at work having to suck ass just not to get fired. So how can you talk? I mean, uh, uh, unless you really walking and standing in truth and figure some shit out and, and learning self-sufficiency, group economics, survival. Yeah. How can you boldly say what needs to be said when it needs to be said and not having to worry about, man, these bills, dude. Man, I'm just going to put my head down. Yes, sir. Laugh at corny ass jokes just to get this chick. So that's why people are. Yeah, but even, even with that, bar, the, the fact that we could be laughing because we still got gardens and we got like neighborhood gardens where we can get fresh produce. We're not relying on the stores, lining up in the stores. We got <clears throat> some folks out with some land. Like I know a couple people with cattle. I know quite a few black folks with cattle. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know many with hogs, but how come we can't? I might have something that I can offer them. I just want, you know, half a calf. Bro, we got away from it. Yeah, like but that's why I'm it. telling go you ahead, that this ahead. is an opportunity to bring us back to it. Just like you, I remember, I, it probably was maybe two months ago. Bro, talking about man, oh, I don't know what the subject was. We like, yo, we had so you just y'all had all the acres down in Marsh. Yeah, okay. Y'all didn't just have goddamn acres sitting. Somebody was farming. Somebody had livestock on that shit. Yeah, and that probably was 60, 70 years ago, up until the time when y'all. Happened just like a lot of us. Taxes ain't got paid on it, so now we're struggling just to keep it. So I'm saying all that to say, again, when we stop the sharecropping, when we stop y'all growing this, y'all got cows, y'all got a pond, when we stop a community lifestyle and say everybody just finna go to work and get a job, like, like, it was a plate, man, rain on us that was so cold, and I ain't really figured it out shit. I'm just looking at all of the at all of the routes and the components of the shit that I did to get us off our square mm -hmm. to be completely dependent mm -hmm. on everything except us for survival. Yeah. So, until we, and it, like I say, it don't, me, personally, I think that that motherfucker gonna have to die out until niggas get back in their 
position. Of course. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think niggas or I don't think black people, the original people, I don't think we are waking up really. I ain't talking about the fake woke. Yeah. I'm talking about the realization of what has happened through history and to walk down the timeline and see how we got it. I don't think people are even have the time to understand that because once you're not going to learn it in school and if you wasn't brought up in a household that can oh. show you how this shit yeah. happened you're not going to get it because by the time you get out of school your people probably down there trying to push you out the house to get a job we don't even know nothing we don't even know how to pay bills when we get out of school indeed so why or we so so at that point we are forced to now we in survival mode out the gate. Ain't no time to sit back and, and do the those and props do, and, and all that or do the knowledge to learn the real history because we don't went through thirteen years of bullshit. And if you go to college, you went through four whole years. Two of them was probably just partying. The other two was making up for the party because then you pay for that. You pay for it. Yeah. You in debt for that. Yeah. You, now you now you you forced to go to that job that you was just so you damn sure ain't doing all that other shit you was talking about. If you can even get a job after for what you went to school for. Yeah. Because man, uh shout out to my boy Second Son, man, bro. When we had this conversation the other day, like, when I went to college, I went to college for business management. You know why? Because I say, I don't want to work for this crap all my life. I, I want to build a business on I want to run my own business. Yeah. You go to school for business management, your goddamn professor ain't even got a business. He's a teacher sir, trying to teach you how to be a business man. They're not going to teach you how to run your own business. Nah, they're going to give you numbers and speaking. You got the degree. I got it. <laughs> they're going to give you numbers and speaking. It's nothing about running no actual business or transferring from the books. You know, accounts, okay, credits and debits, you know what I mean? But from the actual books, from your store, you know what I mean? It's a lot of ledgers, insurance, policies, you don't have to, that shit is not taught. And you <laughs> not own for it. You're talking to a business. Man, yeah. Microeconomics, yeah. macroeconomics. What the fuck is this yeah. shit? I did love it, it, man. I, it. I, I it. dropped out twice. Man, I, I didn't drop out, but I, that first semester was a doozy. That account kicked my ass. I took that twice. Yeah, I don't know where I was thinking. Yeah. I, was I know, but I brought that up to say that we spend 12 plus, let's just say a four. 16. We spent 16 years yeah. learning, or yeah. and I don't even want to call it learning because you learn some, but for the most part, you're doing a bunch of memorizing shit. Mm -hmm. And in that time, for us, we're not gaining nothing that's empowering because, again, we in his system. It's, it, it's fucked up, man. That's all I like to say, man. I, I, I got much more from the social engagement of college than I did the education. Yeah. But I was also in arts. Yeah. Like that, which y'all is, that's science. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that's, but I had to go to the arts because I started off in the science college. Couldn't do it because I don't. Science and I, we good, yeah. but I'm much better at the art. Mm -hmm. You know, I like painting the picture more than telling you, you know, how much you're going to need and how much paint you're going to need. You know, the science, I don't need to just give me the, you know, let me do what I do. Give me, give me carte blanche. I mean, give me what I need and watch me work. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it's so important. But the point is, it's in there, is, I'm gonna get it. Okay, then. Sell. Sell. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. Some and if you go get it, and the shit take you out, at least you can get it and go give it to the family. And of course, because you know what? I'm. I'm with the Houston day. We riding back, me and my old lady. 
and she was telling me something. This 70 year old Caucasian, I don't know what his position in government is, but his stance was this. We cannot let this coronavirus fuck up, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing now, the future of our progeny. Mm -hmm. We will, we, he, he says something like, our grandparents would be willing to sacrifice their lives mm -hmm. for the progeny, for the children, the grandchildren. But you know what he said in the coded language that he, that, because he's talking to a people that can understand what he's saying in code? He was saying that as old people, as old as an old white man, if I have to die in order for my grandchildren to continue to uh, receive, uh, to, to be in a, what, what's, what's the term? Oh, I said it today. Legacy? Legacy, but what is it? Nepotism. To oh. pass down yeah. well, no, the that's money. Not nepotism. What? That's inheritance. In same difference to me because that's how well, they got the inheritance is. because they were able to put their people in their position. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's nepotism. So, right. putting the people in the position. Right. right. So, yeah. they would be willing to sacrifice their lives so they could know that their future grandchildren legacy family would still be in power. They're not saying they that they want to die for everybody. They're saying that the only reason that I'm this 70 year old year motherfucker that I'm here right now because some the people that came right. before me yeah. sacrificed. So if I don't yeah. and so they realize that the economy is fucked up right now, man. Yeah. This is a recession we in. I think we may have said it last time we was in, but we in this shit, man. Stocks, yeah. 401ks, all this shit right now, man. Well, Taking a L. Well, man. Taking a big L. Yeah. So they saying, man, I'd rather die yeah. before I let that shit crumble and, and, and my goddamn grandchildren be in the same position as a nigga. <laughs> that shit just yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. That shit crazy. Damn. That shit crazy. Anyway. Hey, man, say, man, if y'all haven't by now, man, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell the them YouTube about, the, tell them about this shit. Hey, man, we got that merch going, too. I understand, you know, we transitioning from, you know, winter. It was real small, but, you know, we still rock the hoodies down here anyway. But we got some merch going. Uh, got the hoodies. We're going to transition to the T-shirts. And, and get with me, man. You can hit the press box, uh, media group, DM. That's on IG. Uh, I got a snap. You can hit that up. YB, YBG underscore 424. You know what I'm saying? He said we got the uh, the press box. Uh, oh, no. Hey, man. We got the press box media group dot com. Okay. Website. Yes, Land the spot. Go to the website, man. You know, and look at the content that we got up. Hey, man. Uh, we you also have. You to tell me earlier. You were telling me things. That's what I needed. We got no. the website, but we got the location too. But let's go. Also, go to the Etsy store. If you would like to get this, or uh, you want to get a t-shirt, you can go to the Etsy store. It's okay. called the Digi Trap Exclusive. Man. Digi Trap Exclusive. So, you know, we're moving on up in the merch department. But before we just go any further, man, is there anything, I mean, like, what else is going on out here? There's some merch right there. In your face. Right. Yeah. In your face. Hey, man. How you gonna, how they gonna get it? Yeah, we just gave our links to everything they can hit. Okay, they got the links. Yeah, we got the, we got the IG, we got the regular, uh, dot com. We got my personal snap. If you got a business card, just hit the numbers that's on the business card. Somebody will be on the other line and holler hello. Uh, hello. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we down here at the physical location. You can pull up if you catch us in between operating hours. You know, from nine to around about seven eighties, you can get you can pull up and get one. After that, I catch you again at nine to about seven eighties. You know, uh, stay safe, man. Anything else, man? Y'all want to touch on? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Touching butts. 
Men's Night to think of. I'm going to put this show in on uh, Thursday at 8. I'm uh, trying to move to this YouTube thing, man. Um, but it's the Gumbo Talk on YouTube. I'll be airing that live this week. Uh, talking, you know, some of the same stuff, but I got to, I'm, I'm trying to move my chest piece in a different way because I know there's going to be a check, but I don't even want to check. They ain't going to check me. But, but I'm trying to avoid this check and then I'm going to try to set it up where, you know, I'm going to take as many of the soldiers with me as we can. But I, I just want to say, that's what we're going to work on on Thursday. I just want to say, if you can this Thursday, I know you were saying you're you, you building a setup. Pull up, man, down here and shoot the shit. Let me be in a live studio audience and catch on and catch the gumbo talk show, man, right shit, here. We can do, do it. Do the YouTube, do the first, you do the you put the shit on YouTube from here right now. Go you got talk. see the thing is though, man, you got gymnastic practice. But you got we in quarantine shit. right now. True. We can't do and shit. That is social true. distancing, bro. So yeah, we, we all do it. We all to set it up for the social Thursday. distancing. Thursday. 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 I want to be in the live studio. Oh, Y'all want wings? I want a big old cheeseburger. Hey, man, they got that too, man. I done got yeah. home. I want some wings. Man. Hey, man, also, you can catch us on uh, your digital streaming apps, whether it's Apple, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Anchor, whatever you operating with out there, man. Just hit in the press box. The press box. You can put that in. You're going to see Trap Talk. You're going to see. Whatever we have to offer up there, it's gonna be locked, locked in, and loaded. If you can't watch the visual, uh, visual, excuse me, you can always get the digital. Uh, and, uh, I want to say, uh, if, if the Illuminati watching, hit me. I say I got the coronavirus. Uh, uh, just let me know how much y'all paying for niggas to say they got it. Oh, because I will be saying I am. Thank y'all for tuning in. And holla at me, Illuminati. Sign me up. Sign me. The homie, Boy Link. Corona. And Big Worm. Big Worm over there, man. Y'all go easy. Sign me. I peace. That big is crazy.